In today's video, the three things you must do to get rid of the skinny fat look. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. Hope you had a wonderful Easter Happy Monday, but today's video is about you. It's about the question you guys ask me. So go here, right here to my Instagram direct message. Send me your questions. Today's question comes from one of those direct messages, and it's a great one. My friend here just wants to know, I'll put it on the screen, how does he get rid of that skinny fat look? And I'm gonna give you three things to start doing this week, right now, today, that you can do to start losing that skinny fat look. How can you change your body composition to look a little bit better? It's three simple things that I want you to change. And if you like this type of information around how you can develop the physique of your dreams from a physique expert, well, hey, hit subscribe. It's what I love to do here. So step one. All right, guys, so I'm here at the Pro Physique Studio where I work during the week. So that means I have to have food with me. So step one, the first thing you need to start doing when it comes to getting rid of that skinny fat physique is pretty simple. You just reach in the fridge a couple times a day. Oh, no, not champagne, that's right protein. So what just happened there? What did I pull out of the refrigerator? Well, it's pretty simple. A couple times a week, I take a bunch of food, I cook it, I put it in Tupperwares, and I have my protein for the week. What does this allow me to do? Well, first of all, if you're not aware, which I'm sure you are, but let me just drop some knowledge for you. Protein is the building block of muscle. Hell, it's the building block of all the cells in our body. But if you want to build more muscle, which is a big part of the skinny fat look, which is where you have some saggy skin, you're kind of a lower body fat, but you don't have muscle fullness, and so you just end up looking and feeling a little weird. Adding protein to your diet is gonna improve that process through something called muscle protein synthesis, or the process of taking amino acids and adding them on to our muscle cells, making them bigger. Bigger muscle cells, think of them like a balloon, you make the muscle cells bigger, they expand, they push out against the skin, you start to look like this right here. Like this guy, this 45 year old guy. That's right, lifetime natural bodybuilder and I still managed to not look too terrible. So let's just start with the diet. And why do I focus on protein? What's wrong with carbs and fats? Well the real issue with protein is, typically protein is the most difficult because you have to prepare it and you have to store it. So you have to plan ahead. So what I like to do is do this for a couple days in advance so I don't have to think about what I'm eating. When I think about what I'm eating, I tend to go eat something that's a little more delicious and a little more calorie dense than I actually need. But when you have a bunch of lean protein sources laying around, it really helps you stay full all day long so you don't eat crap. So yes, it's an important part of this process, but I don't want you to worry too much about stressing about all the things. Just start planning ahead. And if you don't know how much protein to hit a day, my suggestion is your body weight or your target weight. If you're very overweight, Hit your target weight in protein, that'll be plenty. If you're just a skinny fat individual who's already got a nice body weight but you just don't like the way you look and feel, just hit your target weight per day in protein and that's going to be plenty. You break that up over three, four, five meals, whatever you're comfortable with, you're gonna be spiking your muscle protein synthesis throughout the day. Now let's talk about step two. All right guys, step two is pretty simple. It's about coming in the gym and moving some weights. When you move the weights, the muscles contract, you break those muscle fibers down, you damage them, they recover and they come back bigger and stronger. And this, uh, combined with eating more protein, is how you are going to put on muscle. Skinny fat is a place where, although body fat is in a good place, muscle tone is terrible. So you need to fill those muscles up. First of all, resistance training, the only way to do it. Putting on some muscle, applying a stimulus, is going to make those muscles grow. So your next logical question is, hey Paul, how the hell do I know what to do when I go into the gym? I'm just figuring this thing out. Well, I've thought of that, guys. So I have a free beginner's guide, and when I say free, I mean free for, for free free. Yes, I'm gonna ask you for your email address, but that's how I send it to you, man, woman whatever. You're going to get a free program. And no, I'm not going to send you an email every day, every week, or every month. That's not what I do. It's a free guide. It includes everything. It includes how to set up your diet, how to set up your training, how to set up your cardio, how to pick a gym, how to stay motivated. 
The whole purpose behind this is just to get you going and show you that yes, even you can build muscle and look amazing. So that leads us to tip number three. The first two, I think most people could have guessed that. Eat a little bit more protein, but planning your protein ahead is the real key. Next, do some resistance training. And heck, even some exercises that promote muscle building would be great, but you know me, I love bodybuilding more than anything. It's my favorite form of activity. So what is tip number three? Now, not everybody has their own water cooler as we do at the Pro Physique Studio, but I promise you, you have access to water. Because guess what? It's 2021 and you're watching a YouTube video probably on your $1,000 smartphone. So I'm guessing you have access to water. But my point here is that if you drink water throughout the day, it's going to help keep you hydrated. Muscle looks a lot better when it's hydrated. That's right. When I was talking about those muscle cells before, when they are breaking down and recovering, water is going to help flush the nutrients in and out. The bad stuff out, the good stuff in. It's going to keep us full and hydrated. Water can also actually help us from being hungry. A lot of the times when we get a hunger signal, it's because we are actually a little bit dehydrated. So you combine eating that protein, getting in the gym, and drinking more water, you're going to change the way you look. Your skin is going to have better tone. Your muscles are gonna have better fullness. You're gonna avoid eating crap because you've planned your protein ahead. You've also been training hard, so you wanna back that effort up in the gym with positive diet behaviors. So as I go along my current fat loss journey that I've been doing during the Pro Physique Transformation Challenge where we're giving away $50,000 in a couple weeks, it's about to end. Don't worry, we're gonna be starting a new one, maybe August. I've learned some things along the way, and that is that even I, who's been lifting weights for 25 years, can get into some bad habits. I was not planning my protein ahead, I was not drinking enough water, and I sure as hell wasn't being consistent with my training. When I started doing all those things again, I started looking damn good if I do say so myself. So it's simple, guys. I know, and maybe this is something you've heard before, and maybe today's the, the day that you actually take action. Just start planning your protein ahead. Start going to the gym more consistently and start drinking more water and allow time to handle the rest. Consistency plus work equals the physique that you want. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for me today. Hope you guys had a wonderful Easter tomorrow. I'm gonna do a show day vlog where I traveled to Orlando and uh, we had an amazing weekend. I won't spoil it but we won. Okay, bye guys.